Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 3 of Halfway to 132. Um, I've been digging, building, but not a lot. I've been mostly gathering uh, a lot of resources and uh, I found some cool stuff. I found two iron chest plates in a single uh, dungeon and I found some steel stuff. I uh, have a steel sword which will almost certainly be destroyed soon. I've gone through a couple of iron pickaxes and uh, gathered this. Yeah, it's kind of a lot of stuff so I thought I'd get started on the industrial craft part. I have... oh let me show you that. Um, it's starting to be dark but it'll be fine. I've started up on our tree farm here and uh, I had to deforest an area for this. <laughs> and this over here will be my tower in the future. I kinda like this whole area. So I'm gonna build a wizard tower. It's gonna be tall. And uh, I just built this as a proof of concept to see if it's uh, how it would look here. But I will cut this down and replace it with bricks, I believe. Depends on what what I like to use. We'll 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 see that as time goes. Um, but that will be my main home. The entrance won't be down here, but it would rather be on a bridge that goes from over here somewhere. I was thinking here straight out, roughly, and uh, then go left towards the actual tower. But let's put these items to good use and start making the industrial craft stuff. Um, I want to go for... just did some layout stuff here. Um, I'm going to go for a generator there, a battery box there, and a battery box there. Um, that way I can easily make it so that uh, the machines are powered. I might have to use a second battery box, but that should work fine. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, that's fine. So that's four machines. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be very good. But let's uh, get the tin smelted and the iron smelted, and we're also going to need some sticky resin and I will do most of this off camera because it's boring to watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare at this one going. I'm actually gonna make another furnace. Uh, actually not a loss making another iron furnace. Uh, well, except for a few iron. There we go. And there we go. At least I'll keep this. So let me grab some coal found some cold coke, but I'm gonna let that one stay. Um, yeah, something like that. I'm gonna calculate how much I need of each, and uh, I'll do this off camera. So back once I have a generator and two bat boxes. I went to help and set up our three main machines here: the macerator, the electric furnace, and the extractor. So. Now everything should be good on that. Uh, I'm just waiting for these to cook up so that I can make a hopper. Gonna need some more of that. Chest, we're gonna need a stone gear. So we put the chest like that. Hoppers, they're great. I just put them on top of there and I'll just dump everything I have in there. Not that I had so much on me, but um gonna cook that up. I'll still have to work this manually since I don't have any way of pumping the items out. But yeah. Suppose I could make sort of a loop so it pulls the items into this one, but nah. gonna set a wall up there and move our main crafting down into this hall here. Let's 
mainly so that I can feed this generator actually so and we're gonna have the second bat box up here so I'm cooking up some other items here and uh, my next step will be to get myself the drill and a bat pack the bat pack is six batteries that's a lot but I have everything I need for it so but once I have that I can charge up and uh, go mining hmm actually go for the tin so it starts falling down there that's the way the hopper works now I got plenty of iron ore here perfect yeah we need the tin so that we can make the batteries and I'm gonna need to make one or two of the one or two of the circuits as well got the diamonds suppose I can remove this now and move it somewhere else like there and we're gonna line this wall with some chests we could probably make copper chests since copper is plenty but yeah let's uh, let that one cook up and um, I'm gonna need to go for that yeah there's a lot of waiting believe me but after this wait we get some good stuff so I've been using coal how are we for energy and I can't see that low let's uh, put 16 coal in there I can always cook up some of the wood that I've gathered and make charcoal Fifteen for six of them. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna actually need seven batteries, and that's gonna be twenty something odd. I don't know. So yeah, this is what I'll be doing for the next couple of minutes: cooking items so that we have. Yeah, we don't have the power cabling. can I yes I can extract the rubber wood yes that's another bunch of uh, rubber that's awesome and uh, I think a few more trees have grown so that's gonna be good so I'll be back as soon as something interesting happens <laughs> it's gonna be a while trust me but not for you so see you in a second I just made myself the bat pack and uh, I have the refined iron that I need to make the mining drill and I'm gonna take three diamonds I have oh this is expensive but it's worth it perfect now all I need to do is make a bunch of a bunch of uh, batteries so I can make another set of another set of uh, well not another set but another one of these bat boxes then up here I have already prepared for the area where we're gonna build the solar panels it's gonna be up here somewhere oh here so we're gonna have space for eight solar panels with no problems at all it's gonna be nice flow of energy for me for that I'm gonna need glass so I'm gonna need to see if I can get out to these beaches in the distance there and maybe get some nice sand from there let's uh, force it to work on the tin ore for a while because I'm gonna need three more batteries at least 
and some tin cabling as well, but yeah, that's a later worry. Hmm, should probably put in some more energy there. Yeah, I sat here thinking about making this automated, uh, automated but that's something I will build later once I have plenty of resources. Because it does take a lot of resources making automated systems, but I could make something simple, but nah. I'll do with this for now. Gonna let this one charge up now. So there are a lot of build craft to uh, uh, build craft to industrial craft stuff, especially with the um, transformer add-on that I have, which basically lets me make. Uh, let's see, it's an electric engine that produces uh, mega yules, but there's also the generators, which basically means I make a generator and feed it with Buildcraft energy. And Buildcraft energy is kind of easy to get. So yeah, we'll see if I will do something like that. Um, I think maybe... I can't remember the amount of mega eels you get from uh, a redstone engine, but I don't think it's very much, so... We can make two more batteries like that, and we wait for these. Do, 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 do. I have plenty of tin to work with. And there's more down in the caves. I haven't shown you the caves yet. Uh, at least not so much of them. I'm gonna do that once I have built this bat box. That's uh, enough of this. And we place down those. And now the question is, do I want to put this uh, there? Yes. And I'm going to dig this one out. Because I want this to go down. Perfect. Now this one can finish burning and we'll move it up. That way I will have an easy access to see the storage level of my machines. Alright. Um, I will put that up against the wall. It's not something I use a lot, so... Something like that. And now this one should charge up. Perfect. And I don't have to worry if, if I run out of energy, I can just put in some more coal into that machine. Perfect. I'm gonna start charging up the bat pack. Not gonna need these pickaxes now. A bit sad, but it'll work. One moment. Alright. So, um, what was I doing? Yes. I charge up the bat pack now, so with a little bit of juice in the backpack, I should be able to go mining. I also started thinking I should make an electric wrench so I don't waste any tools or save up on, any, on my resources a bit, so yeah. So, of course it's almost night. Um, I was thinking, well, Fine then, I will make the, uh, the electric wrench now. So I'm gonna need... Um, I'm going to need to make... I thought I made one. Maybe I didn't. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I made one. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. 
Or did I? Yes, I did. No, I made an electric tree tap. Oh, that's it. Okay, fine. That works. Um, so, if I make... I need a fresh one for this. There we go. I also need to make a circuit, and I will need to make a battery. I can make that in the meantime. So I saw the changes that are coming to Red Power, and uh, some of them are really cool. So I do hope that we can update soon. Um, also, uh, 1.4 is coming on 28th of October, I think. So we're in kind of a hurry to get the next version of there we go, electric wrench. Uh, the next version of Red Power before the update hits, but I don't know. Find a way. I should probably start making my solar soon so I can save up on the coal cost here. In fact, that's uh, gonna be the next thing I do. Solar panels. Oh, not the arrays yet. Need two circuits and a generator. The generator basically needs a bunch of iron and batteries. So, yeah. What am I making here? Gold. Let's make copper will do. Don't have any of that. I'm gonna need to make some tin. So I'll put that in the next queue here. So, electric wrench, electric tree tap, perfect. And uh, we can charge up the electronic, well, the electric wrench. So we have that one charged for when we need it. It's gonna go into the chest, so. Okay. I think I'm gonna clean out my inventory and go mining for a while, maybe? While waiting for all this to cook up. Or I should rather just wait here. I'm gonna need to make... If I'm making a couple of solar panels, let's say... Four should be enough. I'm gonna need... Four sets of cables. So that's a little bit more copper. Four cables, uh, well, four sets, eight sets of these. So eight circuits, so that's eight iron. Um, that's, I can't think right now. That's 48, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, going to need a lot more rubber. But that's a start. Something like that. I'm going to be just short. So, I'm going to sleep through the night here and head out and get some of that rubber from the tree farm. So yeah, I was uh, <laughs> kind of interrupted uh, because of some crazy guy jumping out of a balloon. It was pretty awesome, I do admit. And if you totally missed that, well, look it up. It was some 39 kilometers when he jumped out, and uh, was quite the fall. Okay, more trees have grown here, that's awesome. Just cleaning out the leaves to see if these have any taps. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna figure out some better way to do this. I'll do the clearing later. Can't be bothered with that right now. Just want to get this gathered. There we go. And some bit there. 
And what I, I could, in theory, make a forestry automated tree farm, but there's something kind of relaxed with going around and picking up the rubber from the trees themselves. Plus, this looks better. <laughs> if I want to make something automated and fast and cool that works without any of my doing anything, there's one tree left, then uh, I could make a forestry farm, but uh, we'll make that later. I do need more resources before then, so... <laughs> And into the extractor. That's going to be plenty. And there we go. And I have 36. I'm going to need a bunch more. Then we're going to need to have... For each panel, I'm going to need... 8, 10, so I'm going to need 40 iron ingots in total. That shouldn't be a problem. We have plenty of ore and there is more filtering down through this. But that's going to take a while, so I'll just work on the other things in the meantime. Like uh, this. 48. Awesome. And now we need to have 8. Eight of these, and we're gonna need to get some of this. Oh, we're running really low on redstone. So I might not be able to do this now, I need to go mining. Gonna need to have eight, four batteries, so... I might actually be just short. Hmm... Let's make... That's two of them, so that's fine for now, and I could just cook all these, because the generators They have that recipe as well, which is pretty much the same, but since I... Hmm, no, let's not. Um, that's gonna be enough for two. So I'm gonna need that. that, and we need to have these two batteries, two of these, and then two generators. I got the achievement even though I already made one, but that's... I wonder if there is a recipe for this one yet. Nope. Um, so, coal dust and glass. So we need a total of six coal Actually, 12. So let's put that in there. Put the tin back in there. And I will need sand. Oh yes, I was headed over to the beach to get that sand. So let's do that. And there's... I upgraded my extra biomes uh, add-ons, so any new trees that are generated will have a different kind of wood. So tree capitator does not work at all on these. Well, that's kind of sucks, but... I don't know. I'll just have to learn to live without it. This is lagging my computer a bit. I'm just 
gonna dig out uh, stack row three. There we go. That's plenty. Should last me for quite some time. And we head over. Back down to our base. So yeah, let me know what you think about the idea with the fortress kind of tower here. I'm thinking it should be taller than these trees, maybe. Make it really epic. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's going to be a while until I finish it anyhow. I need to have a solid uh, power production before I can do that. This one is almost done, so let's wait it out. And one more coal dust, and I'm ready for my first two. There we go. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna need six glass. I miss my project table. But the new one looks really cool. And, uh... Yeah, it, it has these little recipe slots where you can put in uh, the plans for whatever you're going to make and it really speeds creation up. You don't have to put anything in the crafting grid, it just sorts it out itself. Alright. Let's see. I always get this wrong for some reason. Yeah, you see? They should really make that an alternate recipe. Um, ten cables should be enough. I'll just make eighteen for now. And we head up to... Oh. up here. Where is it? There it is. If I turn off smart moving, out. I should be able to do this. Perfect. And I can put that there, and that there, and of course there are trees above, so that one does not get anything. How unfortunate. It's a good thing it's um, that kind of tree. So let me just get an axe. Yeah, that would have sucked if I couldn't have cut down this tree easily, because these are kind of big. So, let's see, that one goes. Now this one has not... It should have. There we go. Uh, it takes a bit for it to update, probably. What about this point here? It has, so that automatically makes this one... Yep, perfect. Now this one should be receiving energy, but it's full, so... It doesn't really matter that much. Good, good. That only really leaves me to do mining, lots of it. And I can just smelt everything up here. So let's see the copper there and put the plant stuff there. Same with the wood. And yeah, that's about it. Where do I put? I'll put all the crafting stuff there. The electric tree tap. Where is my electric wrench? Where did I hide that one? Oh, there it is. There we go. Now I can also make a wooden pipe. Hmm. I can make sort of a auto smelting system here, I suppose, but 
It's no hurry. Um, how much? I'm two cables short. That's sad. Oh well. I'll uh, just throw in the copper ore. Um, for now, nothing here is auto, but it'll have to do. Actually, let's do it real quick. Let's make a auto system. It's not expensive. I'm gonna need some iron, which is cooking up some here. Gonna need two engines. That's gonna be enough. And for this, I need to have gears. I need four. Four gears, like this. Like so. I'm gonna need some more, right? Yes, I'm gonna need pistons, so... Actually, I don't need that much iron. I do need one for each piston, and I need some wood. And I need some glass. I made some, didn't I? Yes. So... Of course, I need to make the piston first. I'm totally out of all the raw materials today, aren't I? I can do that. And the wood there. Yay, pistons. To these. And we have sterling. Well, I don't need the sterling engines for this. Well, it's just wood. I was wondering when I'd <laughs> mix those up. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't craft them, so... That's simple. Just these redstone engines. And we have the glass for wooden transport pipes some sandstone pipes because they don't connect to the machines and then uh, some cobblestone work and I can make a chest so the chest would go... Hmm, I don't know. Let's place it there. And I'll place a wooden pipe there and cobblestone. Like this. Oh, that does not work. Actually, the hopper, I can just put stuff in myself. Let's uh, break this chest. There we go. Let's instead put the chest... These won't connect. That's good. Let's put the chest there. And the engine goes there and there. I need two more redstone so I can put a torch I need to have the torch just below for this I think well it doesn't have to be but I hide as much as possible of the redstone wiring elsewhere there we go and now it's pulling stuff out of this. That's good, but I need it to go up here. Uh, 
and into this. Oh, that's a whole other thing. Now this could end up in this. Hmm. Let's switch that one off so I can pick this up for now. Uh, do I have... I have the iron to make a hopper or two. Yeah. Um, let's uh, make a chest. And uh, a hopper. Now it works. Now this one can have the... There we go, it's semi-auto-crafted. And all the finished ingots will go into that chest for now. There we go. And I can just throw this in these hoppers. Well, I can't fit that much, but you get the point. This is why I should have had... <laughs> I do need to have a wrench now. What do I have? I don't have any red flowers. Is that just a coincidence? I think so. Let's just sleep through the night here. And one second, guys. Yeah, wow. Way over time here. Um, but I figured I'll show you. At least I think it works. Um, if I make a crowbar... Crowbar is made using this with some of that. I'm supposed to be able to use that one for. Yep. For build craft. Awesome. So, in this case, let's do it like this. That's the only way it can go. And now I can make another hopper. Like that. And we can put that on top of this one. And now we can really put some stuff in there. Perfect. And this one can have that. This one will cook things up faster than the macerator, so it should be fine with just one. But in theory, I could put this in if I wanted to. Yeah, this looks very ugly, and I need to go all the way around here and up on there to reach my bat boxes, but hey, whatever. It works, and... Uh, it ain't pretty, and I could probably optimize this by putting everything behind and get this out on the front, but for now it works, and uh, that's all that matters. Um, but that's gonna have to be it, guys, because I'm way over time on this episode, and yeah, I don't want to make it too long. So I will see you in the next episode. Uh, in the next episode... Um I don't know what to do for the next episode. If you have any ideas, just drop a comment in this. Uh, and if I don't come up with anything, I'll go by your comments, okay? 
See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.